Uh, so there's an email there from John Abbott I really wanted to touch on. Uh, and I'll just, I'll just read quickly, John. I just want to touch this because we were on the topic of RAID and things like that and mm -hmm. backups. just says, first of all, now uh, John is a very well-respected member of our community, and, and I totally understand uh, his uh, frame of mind as he's writing this. So, uh, so I ask everyone to have the same uh, respect as well. Uh, John says, I both recognize and respect that you are a fan of RAID, but having been in IT uh, for a national bank, I am in complete agreement with storing backup files off-site. Because there is, uh, because there, it is the law. I have grown to appreciate off-site storage more and more as the technology improves. On your show, you said that Ubuntu One was not meant for backups, but as a way to store contacts. Robbie, I think that you missed the boat badly here. This is from one Ubuntu One. Uh, this is from the Ubuntu One front page. Uh, he quotes where it says, backup, store, synchronize, and share your essential files. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, going on, John says, you tend to put everything in the hands of RAID, but what happens when your basement floods or is consumed by fire? I operate multiple computers from multiple locations. There are certain files that I want available no matter where I wind up. This is where Ubuntu One comes in. Uh, if I am a guest on a computer, I can still go to the web page of Ubuntu One and download the files. Think about why Dropbox and Ubuntu One both offer their 50 gigabyte programs. All of my computers are backed up all the time. Best regards from John Abbott in Texas. Uh, so I appreciate the email very much, John, and I think I kind of touched on a little bit about the backup thing. I do not rely on RAID as my backup solution. I rely on it as my in-house backup solution, but it is not the final end-all be-all. My plan with our Unraid box here is to have an equivalent RAID 1. So our unraid box is three terabytes. So we're going to have a, a raid, probably a raid one or something along those lines, or possibly even just another unraid box that's going to be mini form factor and taken off site all the time. In the meantime, before we have that, because there are costs involved in that, we back up online. But we don't use Ubuntu One for that because 50 gigabytes ain't big enough, my friend. So that's my case. If you're a home user, though, yeah, I think, I think maybe I did miss the boat on the fact that. It's a great solution, even two gigabytes. That's a, that's a lot of photos. If you want to back up your family photos that way, that's a lot of JPEGs. So, and then you pay the 10 bucks or whatever it is, you get the 50 gigabytes, and that's a lot of storage for most home users. So, so yeah, I must agree with you there, John, that that is a, a great way to uh, keep your file safe. It's secure. It uses an SSL connection, I believe, uh, is what they use. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, so it's uh, it's just as safe as using your online banking or something like that, as far as the way your files are transmitted and received. So, I think uh, yeah, John's point is is good. Assess your your backup needs, how much space you need. You don't need to back up your whole computer. You just need to back up your files, your main stuff, your photos, your family stuff, your possibly your email, but you could always just leave those in the server anyway. 